The 60s rock sensation, the monkeys, under investigation by the FBI. Well, that's apparently the case. In 1967, when the band was red hot with four number one hit albums, agents were building a case file. KCAL 9's Tom Wade has the pretty surprising story tonight. If a group could have gone viral in the 1960s, it would have been the Monkees. They were a made-for-TV band that exploded in popularity as a music sensation. And I saw her face. The group had four albums hit number one in 1967. To this day, no other band has matched that achievement. But also in 1967, the FBI was investigating the Monkees for allegedly spreading anti-Vietnam War messaging during their shows. In the heavily redacted FBI file from that year, first reported by Rolling Stone, a section from an unnamed FBI informant who attended a concert states, during the concert, subliminal messages were depicted on the screen, which constituted left-wing innovations of a political nature. Ladies and gentlemen, Mickey Dolan! The last living member of the Monkees, Mickey Dolan's, is now suing the FBI to release the entire file. I had the privilege of getting to know, uh, not too long ago, Mickey Dolans. The Mark Zaid is the attorney representing Dolans. Zaid gained fame representing the whistleblower during former President Trump's Ukraine scandal that led to his first impeachment. Zaid also counts himself as a big fan of the Monkees, which helped trigger his interest in the case. Understand that the Monkees existed in a very tumultuous period of time in the United States. Obviously, they're Mickey still performs today, and the monkeys, until the others passed away, were all still performing. But, you know, they came to the world's attention in 1966 or so uh, when we were in Vietnam and hippies are becoming big and the drug culture. Zaid says when he learned the FBI had a file on the monkeys, he put in a freedom of information request. But as is typical, he says, the request went unanswered for several months. So he launched the lawsuit to expedite the process and find out exactly what investigators have on the group. Some informant, probably an FBI agent who wanted to take their kid to the monkeys concert, went to the monkeys show uh, in, I think, San Francisco and filed a report back to the FBI about the anti-war protest movement. Why was the FBI surveilling the monkeys, whether the individual members or the band? What does it say? And what does it say larger about the activities of the FBI during the 1960s? Lots of questions there. Well, that was Tom Waite reporting.